Hello out there, Dark Age of Camelot community. It's Josh here, and uh, there was a notification on the website from Broadsword that a new patch is being tested on the Pendragon server. Now, currently, there are two test servers, Hector and Pendragon. Both of those servers are still active. Let's see if I can pull it up here. Okay, they are working on patch 1.128 version C. All right, this is the highlights. There's nothing in extreme detail. All right, there's even a uh, link where you can copy your characters from Ywain or Geharis over to the Pendragon server. There's a Wicca article. All right. The broadsword linked in their article. And the reason I wanted to make this video is there is You've got mail. One part on Pendragon that is still available for access. And I've gotten lots of comments in game from players that said they miss instance dungeons and they miss the catacombs. All right. This is the only teleporter that can teleport you to the catacombs. All right, you'll have to find it in each of the capital cities for the Inkanu Crypt, uh, Cobalt Undercity, or Shard Labyrinth. And voila, you can successfully teleport. There is a bind stone that you can bind your character. All right, there are quests available. All right, a few other things. The abandoned mines are accessible, which I'm told those are used as shortcuts. All right, the other thing that is available are the instance dungeons. You can also access the Veil Rift. Now, once you get into the Veil Rift, you won't be able to come back, so you'll have to use a Bind Stone to get out of it. All other teleporters and all other access to these locations are still disabled on Pendragon. All right. But as you can see, I'm in the Veil Rift now. I've already made the mistake of walking into that. And uh, once you fall down there, you got to use backslash stuck. So once you're in the Veil Rift, you're in the Veil Rift. I'm not buffed right now, or I could fight my way through this. But these instance dungeons inside the Catacombs expansion content are still available. You can still access them. Uh... Accessing your characters and copying them or creating new ones on the Pendragon and Hector servers is twofold. You still get to enjoy all of the Dark Age of Camelot content, and you can help Broadsword patch the bugs with their, their patch updates before they release them for the Uwain servers and the Geharis server. All right, so you can still enjoy your RVR. In fact, let's see. There might even still be some players that have are in clans. Some of these keeps are still claimed. Lord knows how long, but figured I'd go ahead and put this out there. See if we can get some players involved to help Broadsword keep the game in top shape. As always, thanks for watching.